I decided I'm going to try to sneak in a single roll open. Um, the one from this morning was so, it was, I mean, the one coin that I found was ridiculous. I actually, so this is episode uh, 19. But look, come on, buddy. It's coming. Here we go. And um, I'm getting pretty good at this. Huh. I say that, right? And then I screw it up. Come on. All right. And um, if you didn't watch that, watch episode 18. If you want to skip right to uh, 40 minutes, go right ahead. That The penny. And I have it, I did a designated video with it for the short for this one penny. I got Do I have it here? Or did I put it in the flip already? I think I still have it here. Well, I think this is it. <sighs> Never seen anything like this before. Let me zoom in a bit. Just to show you in case you didn't watch that video. You know what this reminds me of? Besides the uh, the salt around the margarita glass. Also reminds me of, uh, I think it's the, it's the, not is it the diamond tip uh, blades? The other side is clean. This this penny has me hype. I I contacted a couple um, of the grading companies. I I gave them the link to the video and I took a picture of it and sent it to them because that you know if they're not going to grade it or they're going to you know screw around with me and say oh well we can't identify that don't waste my time you know what I'm saying I, that's just how I feel about it. So I did send them the pictures and uh, it, to three of to three of them yeah to and and and. NSG or NGS, whatever it is, um, to uh, the other one, the P1 collectors, PCGS, and to ANSA, something like that. So I sent them, sent all three of them messages with the uh, with attachments, and we'll see if they, if one of them says, yeah, well, that that's fine. You know, the other ones go, I, I don't know if that is that. That got ran over by a truck in the parking lot, and you know what? And screw it, I'll just keep it in. I, I love that. And that'd be my favorite. I, I actually, I'm not going to change my, uh, my, my picture of, uh, that's on, that's on for YouTube, but that is, let me tell you, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to change it, to put it to that picture. And here, our first one that we pick, it's like a, an almost uncirculated, great, um, misaligned die. That's what I'm saying. These rolls are tremendous. I, I, I really want to do another Another coin uh, roll open. I've been getting super duper lucky. A 62D. Wow. I have to look at that D. That's uh, it's a key variety. If it's, if it's doubled, which it's not. Unfortunately. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in just a bit. Okay, man, look at look at these. Yeah, that's fine. What a beauty, huh? Tell you. Um, and then I also have the book. Let me open this up real quick. And the book has a, a side on the right that I didn't know for the uh, going up to ninety six D. So all the ones on the right side of the book, I know I have it zoomed in, but there, there's nothing there. So all of those, if I find any, I could just throw them. I could pick them. But I'm going to pick nice ones. So we're looking for the, um, what was this, an eight? I, I don't want to put, I don't want to put coins like this in there. You know, I, I feel like that's kind of disrespectful. It's, or lazy or what have you. Okay, 77. We're just going to do one roll. I prefer to do two rolls, but it's getting a little late. Ah, 60D. This one doesn't look too bad. You have a 60D over there? 
59, uh, the 60 D is filled in already. Okay. Ah. Uh, there's a small date and a large date for 60? It's not in the book, but up there it shows. Uh, I don't know. Does it matter? I guess I guess if, if it's um if it's the if it's doubled or repunched or whatever, I guess then it matters. Otherwise I guess it doesn't matter. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying that. I don't know. Seventy six D. Ah. Yeah, that's a nice repunch in that 76. Hold on, let me make sure. Sometimes my eyes play tricks on me. Because I was looking and I was like, oh, it looks a little sideways. Oh, yeah. Is that any 76? No, it's nothing, but it's a repunch. I don't know how close. Can you see it? You guys can see it much better than I can, but that D is repunched. That's nice. Yeah, that's a nice that's a nice repunch D we got there. Anything else going on with this coin? Not really. Okay. Put that over here. That does not go in the book. 72. What are okay, these are the um what else, the fines. It's a seven flat. Yeah. Well, I don't expect to find another penny like like the one I showed at the beginning of this video ever again in my life. What do you think about that rim, huh? That's pretty cool. Right, 78. Yeah, we need the 78D, the 76D. Yeah, anything with a mint mark, I could have to check the book. Right, all the other ones. Oh, 62. We need a plain 62. I mean, what type of force does it take, huh, to do that? It's just so. Seventy four D. Needs a seventy four S. I don't know. See if I can't tell what it is, I don't I just put it I'm gonna repackage it and throw it right back in the uh look at this one sixty one D. We need the sixty D, right? Seventy two D. Aha. This is one of them. Let me see how this looks. Looks like a good penny. This is a good a good filler. Ah, all right, we found one for the book. Yep. Seventy five. No, all the 75s are filled. 
I guess after a while, you just know what you need, right? <clears throat> and then you just have a couple. And that's when you're getting down to the end. Nice fine pen. Which one in the seven? Any of the plain ones in the seventies? No, D S seventy one. No, the seventies are filled. Yeah, and then it's with mint marks. Ah, this one has a mint mark. It's a filled D. That's okay. Seventy nine D. We need a seventy nine D. This is a nice example. That's why I was like, okay. I mean, it's not really. A super repunch. It looks more like a filled in D. I'll take a look at it. Yeah, that's fine. All right, we found two. Found two for the book. And right, maybe that's the cool thing about just doing one roll. Is that um, huh, seventy five D? How's this one look? This one looks okay. Seventy five. Is that another one? No, nah, seventy five D's filled in already. 66. Yeah, so this is the first time I'm ever filling in one of these books. Whitman. Whitman. I remember them from when I was a kid. I think the, what's the one that's we need? But I didn't fill them up. I just remember them. I don't, I think I remember them. I think people just had them around, you know? 76 D. Another one. And did we find one already? Well, it doesn't matter. I'll put it there. And if there's more than one, I'll just change the example. 77. Wait, this one. Three oh seven. It's in shiny. Eighty one with toning. Let me weigh this one. 12. I guess if I wanted to weigh every penny, that would be another good way of. Huh. That seven looks pretty, pretty cool. Right? It has like the wave in it. That's odd. Nothing special about it, but just odd. I don't think there's anything special about it. 78. Seventy. Huh, our only, our first, only non-copper, eighty-six. So if you saw the, the, the previous video where I 
I think the ro rocker, a subscriber named Rocker, he um, who suggested this. I couldn't get the penny into the book. I felt like a clown. It was really, really hard. Seventy-four D. I just had to check the. Uh, no, let me have the D. Um, couldn't get the penny into the book. I, I had to stand up and and put and put pressure on it. Sixty-eight. It's a nice one. I wonder. I wonder if I sh if I find nice ones. If I should. I mean, it does have that little. So what I'll do is I'll also do that. I mean, I didn't think about it. You know, I just thought about. And I've did this before. But if I find a nice one, like this is a nice penny, right? Seventy-three. Well, not really. I mean, it's nicer than if, if a penny was destroyed. It's misaligned die too. Not super, but a little bit. Then I will replace the ones that are there. I mean, as long as I'm doing it, doesn't doesn't hurt. Seventy seventy. In the book, I'm saying, you know, if I find one that's nice and there's one that's there, it's not nice. Sixty one D. So I guess I could do that. I, I'm just not going to put a destroyed one in there, you know. This one's not too bad. 61. No, 61 D is there. Misaligned die. 76. You could tell when they're non-copper and this was copper i guess you can't tell when they're non-copper 79 i'm weigh it 312 Finds 76, misaligned die. Probably dirt. Yeah, I could feel something. Yeah, I rubbed some of it off. 1980. Nice condition. 1980D. Ha ha! We found another one. This is a nice one, too. Let me just look at the, that D. Yeah, all right. Now we're cooking with gas. I guess people used to cook with something else, right? Yeah, you got some of the letters on the rim there. It's funny because it doesn't doesn't look misaligned. I wonder why that happened. Maybe it's just that they're pushed up, you know? Oh, yeah, so just doing one penny roll, this is fast. That's a nice 76. Oh, we need a 76 D. I think we found the 76 D. Anyway, maybe that's what I'll do if we got... You see, oh, that's pretty. And go, I'll need the shiny one for last. 71. Two thousand six. Nice. 
We got two, two non non coppers. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do it like this. Let me see if I can do it like this without. You know what I'm saying? See if I can do it without picking up the phone and all that jazz. I mean, I could pick it up a little. All right. All right, let's leave it like that. Um, and let's see what we got here. Uh, we, have the, we have the 1980D. What I'll do is I'm not going to make a fool of myself. I'll just put it where it belongs. And then um, off, ca <laughs> off camera, I'll make a fool of myself. 1979, I have to look at the loop. D, 1979, D, that's the 80, there was a 79, 1972, D, right here, I'll move it over, right here, 72, D, and um, is that it? So we have one, two, three, I thought there was four. And what's this? Oh, here it goes. I think this is it. Is it? Sorry if that's the same one. 1976 D. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we got the 79, the 80, the 79 D, the 80 D, the 76 D, and the 72 D. There we go. All right, baby. We're cooking. And um, it goes up to 96D. It's funny. The other side is totally blank. I'm not going to move it around because I don't want the coins to go flying. All right. So thank you for tuning in again. Thank you, um, Mr. Rockers. And um, when we get this filled up, except for the, uh, I'm, obviously, I'm not going to fill in the zinc. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do the 82D large date. Definitely the zincs aren't going in there. You know, maybe I'll throw some some other pennies in there that are pretty cool. But uh, and there's this other memorial reverse. I don't know what that is. So it'll be partial. It'll be mostly filled except for the exotic, uh, difficult uh, to find pennies. And then I'll do um, I'll do the randomizer. You have to be subscribed. And you have to have your you have to be subscribed um or it's viewable so if there's people out there who are subscribing if you didn't know that but if you put your subscribe your subscription as private people cannot see you um creators cannot see no one can see your um your your youtube name so you have to make sure it's not private if it is then um i don't know i don't know what to tell you Okay, and I'll see you on the next one.